different, yet with all of the feelings of comfort, <laughs> uh, we have some help. That's right. This is Chef Ian Wilcoxon from uh, Carabas with his take on chicken brian with lemon butter sauce. One of the best things on the menu at Carabas. I really appreciate How that. How are you doing, Ian? I'm doing quite well. Good. So this dish, not only is it easy to make at home, but this one that tastes of Cincinnati two years in a row. Oh. Ah. So all we're gonna do to start off, I just melted some butter. Okay. This is my garlic and onion. Mm -hmm. And all I'm doing is I'm softening this. I'm not looking to brown it in any way. Just when the garlic turns the same color as the onions, I'm ready to go on to my next step. This is where I add lemon juice. I add white wine. And I add salt and white pepper. Okay. okay. So everybody knows what the white pepper, all white pepper is, uh, it's the inside of a black peppercorn. Oh, I have no idea. With the black removed. Okay. So it's a little more potent. You need a little less of it, but it's just a pinch. And then what I'm going to do from here is you bring this up to high temp. You let this come to a boil, and you bring it till it reduces. Oh, okay. So right oh. here on my next like skillet. It's almost like a gravy consistency. It, it looks kind of like oatmeal, actually. Yeah, it does. Uh, so right yeah. here, when I get to this point, I'm going to turn my heat down. And this is where I'm going to start folding my little pieces of softened butter. Uh -huh. So all this is is unsalted butter because we've already added salt right. to this side. And if you use the salted butter, you can often ruin your sauce. Oh. <laughs> so with a little bit of practice at home, what you're going to find is I'm not trying to boil this sauce in any way. I'm adding the butter and I'm stirring it as I go. And what this allows it to do is emulsify. Yum. So much butter. Yes. <laughs> and it smells so, so good. good. And I, re I really, really appreciate that. Mm because this is what I do 60 hours a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, so while that melts down, you brought a few other things in to, to show us. Yeah. Those meatballs over there are humongous. <laughs> so talking about this, uh, we started doing something called family bundles. Oh. And what that is, is it's meant to serve four to six people. That so would. if you're on your way home from work and you don't feel like making uh, the sauce, you get my restaurant a call. And in fact, we have three different Cincinnati locations. All three are now delivering. Okay. So we deliver up in Mason, we deliver over in Northern Kentucky. At Crespi Hills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we also deliver uh, where I'm at, 7500 right? Beachmont Avenue in Anderson Township. Okay, uh -huh. I didn't know you guys had that service now, so that's uh -huh. super helpful. Mm -hmm. And so, the, okay, now we've got that butter reduced down to uh... Exactly. So after I fold in my butter, what I'm gonna do here, I have sliced sun-dried mm. and basil. Mm -hmm. That's gonna complete the sauce. You okay. just put that in and I'm allowing it to melt the flavors. Yeah. Prior to that, I went ahead and grilled up our chicken brine. <laughs> we topped it with caprino cheese. Oh, yeah. Caprino cheese is a goat cheese. You can get it at your local supermarket. Okay. Uh, all you would do, if you don't wanna grill uh, your chicken at home, you can broil it in your oven. And then from there, all I have to do Top All it. that good stuff on the top, huh? Serve it with whatever side you would like. Yeah. Uh, right here we have our sauteed broccoli from Carabas. That looks but, amazing. Now because uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the topping is so seasoned, you don't season the chicken when you boil. Actually that's not true. I'm okay. glad you said that. So this is my grill seasoning. Uh, okay. What we like to use is salt, black pepper, oregano, and granulated garlic. Wow. Uh, Easy. It's super simple and that's yeah. why we're willing to share this. As I said before, it won the Taste of Cincinnati twice. So Cincinnati already knows about this dish. Right. And they're already excited about it and I just want them to be able to make it in their own home. And so yeah. now we have it on our website, right. local12.com, because Ian shared it with us. That's yeah. so nice. And some other items that I have here, I've got the spaghetti and meatballs family bundle. Mm. I have our uh, tiramisu, very classic right. take. Yeah, my favorite. I, then I have our signature Sonio de Chocolate. Oh, this yeah. is a double layer brownie with homemade <laughs> whipped cream and homemade chocolate mousse and more chocolate sauce on top. People just die for it. And then here I have our Cavatappi Caraba, that's uh, grilled chicken, yep. Alfredo sauce, peas and mushrooms. Ian, thank you so much. I really We're going to eat it. well today. We appreciate having you here. Thank oh, you very yeah. much. And for making the studio smell so good. Too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs>